Welcome back to another inspiring episode of The Burning Bush. I'm your host, Rev. Lee Jonathan of the LJR Ministries in Manatee County, Florida. Today, I'd like to discuss the work that I do for the Department of Corrections. Recently, with the help of the Sumner County Jail in Gallatin, Tennessee, I established the Faith Awakening for Offenders Workshop. The Faith Awakening for Offenders, or FAFO for short, uses a targeted curriculum, compassionate coaches, and restorative community to replace participants' criminal thinking and behaviors with a renewed purpose and biblically-based life principles. Dear Lord, it's her. Excuse me for a moment, I need to take this call. Hello? Hello. This call will be linked and monitored. I have a collect call from Bullhorn Betty, an inmate at Sumner County Jail in Gallatin, Tennessee. To accept this call, press 1. To decline, press 2. You have pressed 1. Please hold while I connect you. It's nice to see you guys again. Hello, Betty. It's so good to finally hear from you. A lot of people, including myself, haven't heard from you since your court hearing. Um, <clears throat> many people are talking about this whole court thing. I just want to say I cannot fix the stupidity of the ignorance and the um, content creators that one willfully violate the law by trying to play the court proceeding unlawfully and illegally on their channel. And my attorney has already filed in the court action. That's all very interesting, but for a moment, can we talk about the orange elephant in the room? How on earth did you end up in jail? I can guarantee you, promise you, 100%, you've been lied to and you were just fooled. Like an idiot. Because you listen to idiot channels. Betty, I haven't been lied to. I just accepted this collect call from you, from jail, and I can see the orange jumpsuit that you have on. All I can say is you guys can, can believe what you want. And if you choose to listen to them, you will always be disappointed, okay? I can promise you, if they were believable, people would be on their channel believing their horseshit instead of over here getting the real facts and information. Look, I get it. You're deflecting, and it's understandable. Can we at least discuss the court case? I remember when you were asking your subscribers for their hard-earned money because for some reason you can't work so that you could hire a lawyer. However, it appears that you didn't even have one represent you in court. Can you please explain that to me? Once again, we have an attorney, okay? We have a lawful, legal attorney that's handling this matter on my behalf. Betty, there's this groovy thing on the Internet called public records. I saw your case file, and you didn't have a lawful, legal attorney. Now, unless your lawyer's name was Pro Se, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. They build their platform on lies, and people have got to stop listening to them. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that Sumner County Court's website is built on lies, and we shouldn't believe anything that's on it? I can guarantee whatever they're saying is a flat-out lie. They lie and manipulate you. That I can guarantee. Now that you mention it, I think you're right. They are lying and manipulating people. I just looked over your intake file, and they're claiming that you weigh 165 pounds. Clearly, with your curves and that muffin top, and let's not forget that full-body George Washington hairdo, you weigh much less. There's not a whole lot that I can say as far as I can't fix stupid, okay? You don't go to idiots for information. You're absolutely right. In general, you should never go to idiots for anything. Speaking of idiots, how are you able to afford this lawful and legal attorney? Um, one person in particular has provided um, some help, a uh, lots of help, and I'm very gracious for that. Uh, through those efforts, we were able to raise uh, $1,250. And um, while we don't try to rob our subscribers of funds unnecessarily, like Queen... Let me stop you right there. Are you telling me that your subscribers pay for all of the trouble that you get yourself into? Where does all of this advocacy of yours come into play? You seem to be prospering from victims and the trauma that their families endure. It's unbelievable that your subscribers fund all of your trips, your gas, your hotels, your food, and there's yet to be any evidence of a single family or law enforcement that's expressed receiving money from you. In my opinion, you harm missing persons' cases, and the attention you bring to a case is more focused on you. Um, we're 
we're spending the money 100% on legal expenses at this time. So if you would like to contribute, please continue to contribute. The legal expenses are going to be, um, I've got this, this paid for to take care of this matter, but there's also going to be legal expenses after this matter because we are going after the Proudfoots and Bower Sox legally over this. Um, there's not a whole lot that I can say as far as... Wait a gosh darn minute. Are you telling me that your mega white power subscribers not only funded your lawyer, and I assume they'll also cover your bail, but now you're going to milk more money out of them so that you can sue the Proudfoots and the Bower Sox? What on God's green earth has this family done to you? I will be going after the Proudfoots and the Bower Sox for damages, for them willfully lying under oath. You can clearly see they staggered these out to try to get me to come to court three or four times. This is malicious. This is an abusive process, and I can't fix the stupidity here on these streets. These people have restraining orders against you because you bug the ever-living hockey puck out of them. And now you want to sue them for filing multiple restraining orders against you at the same time. None of this is helping this family or helping Sebastian. You and your followers should be ashamed. This isn't the behavior of a Christian. As a Christian, we shouldn't seek revenge on those who have hurt us. In Romans chapter 12, verse 19, the Apostle Paul says, Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. I got an attorney handling this matter. I don't need some yahoos on YouTube saying what is and what isn't. I'm sure that this attorney of yours will advise you better than me. A yahoo on the internet reading scripture, the same scripture, mind you, that you allegedly live by. How silly of me to think otherwise. So, I'm going to go eat my breakfast. But sit around and wait. Peace out. God bless. Don't you just love using scripture to point out the hypocrisy in other so-called Christians? Funny, they always want to push their beliefs onto others, but they get all butthurt when you do the same to them. Oh well, that's all the time we have here today. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you truly get something out of my content. I appreciate all of you, and I look forward to seeing you next time on The Burning Bush.